What if your phone stopped just responding and started thinking? Not just faster apps or smoother animations, but an experience that actually adapts to you. That's exactly what Samsung's building with One UI 9, and it might just redefine what Android can do. Hey everyone, Alex here from Smart Reviews. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a Galaxy user or just a tech lover who likes staying ahead of the curve, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Because today, we're diving deep into One UI 9, Samsung's next big software leap that could completely change how your Galaxy feels to use. So, here's the thing. While most people are still exploring One UI 8.5, Samsung's already moved on. Leaks, insider builds, and testing reports have confirmed that One UI 9 is in active development. And it's not just about making things look pretty. This time, Samsung's goal seems to be building an intelligent phone experience. One that learns, reacts, and evolves with you. According to early leaks, Samsung is taking Gemini AI, the brain that powered smaller suggestions and smart optimizations in One UI 8.5, and turning it into the centerpiece of One UI 9. This means your phone won't just help you, it'll understand you. Picture this, you're in the middle of a busy day. You open your messages, and instead of scrolling through paragraphs, your phone gives you a short AI summary of what's important. You're about to head out, and it predicts you'll open Google Maps and Bluetooth, so it preloads both for instant access. Your Galaxy starts quietly managing background apps to save battery, and when you multitask, it prioritizes the app you're actively engaging with. All seamlessly, without you even noticing. That's not just a UI change. That's evolution, and Samsung isn't stopping at behavior. Design-wise, this might be the biggest visual shift since the launch of One UI 5. We're hearing about smoother transitions, more adaptive motion, and a brand, new dynamic color system that intelligently matches your wallpaper, lighting, and even the time of day. It's like your phone subtly transforms to fit your environment, soft tones in the morning, bolder hues in the evening, and calmer colors at night. The whole interface feels more alive, more personal, and more fluid. Now of course everyone's asking, Will my device even get this update? S23, S24, or the upcoming S25 series you're 100% in. The same goes for fan editions like the S23 FE, S24 FE, and even the rumored S25 FE and S25 Edge. With Samsung's promise of up to 7 years of software support, these devices are future-proof. But here's the surprise, mid-range Galaxy users aren't being left behind this time. Phones like the Thur A35 and A65 5G are all expected to qualify. Samsung's really pushing its consistency with updates something that's been improving year by year. And that's great news for millions of users worldwide. And let's not forget the foldables. Samsung's pride and joy, the Galaxy Z Fold 5, Fold 6, and Fold 7, along with the Flip 5, Flip 6, and Flip 7 are all confirmed to get One UI 9. In fact, there's a good chance the Fold 7 and Flip 7 might even ship with One UI 9 pre-installed. So if you've got a foldable, you're definitely part of the next gen experience. And tablets. Oh, they're joining in too. The Tabus 9 series Tabus 9 FE and the upcoming Tabus 10 lineup will all be eligible. Samsung's clearly making sure the entire Galaxy ecosystem, from phones to tablets to foldables, feels unified under this one software vision. Now let's talk about something people often overlook, customization. Early insider info says Samsung's going all in on letting users control their interface. The notification panel and quick settings are rumored to be modular, meaning you can rearrange tiles, create custom sections, or even hide whole groups of toggles you don't use. Want your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on top but flashlight and hotspot below. Done. Want a minimalist look with only a few core icons? Also possible. It's your Galaxy, finally built your way. But Samsung also knows the world's changing, and privacy matters more than ever. One UI 9 could deboot a live permission tracking system, showing exactly which apps are accessing your microphone, location, or camera. And when, it's transparency redefined. A step closer to giving users full awareness of what's happening in the background. And here's one of the most exciting rumors. Samsung might finally introduce its own new cloud service directly baked into One UI 9. After gradually phasing out OneDrive integration in 8.5, Samsung looks ready to roll out its own cloud platform, designed around AI, driven sensing and smart file management. Think backups that actually understand context, your photos notes, and preferences stored intelligently, with smarter recommendations on what to keep or clean up. Performance is also getting attention. One UI 9 is said to be lighter, faster, and more battery, efficient. Samsung has reportedly optimized background resource use, meaning smoother multitasking, faster app launches, and less lag over time, even on older devices. The update could also bring better thermal control, helping devices stay cool during gaming or video editing. Now, when's all this happening? Based on Samsung's past cycles, internal testing has already started. We could see the first One UI 9 beta rollout around mid next year, possibly coinciding with the launch of the Galaxy S26 with the stable update following shortly after for flagship and foldable users. After that, mid-range phones and tablets will gradually join the rollout. At its core, One UI 9 isn't just another version number. It's Samsung saying, we're done making phones that just work. We're making phones that think. Every change, from design to AI to privacy, shows a clear push toward an experience that's more natural, 
more personal, and more balanced. Your phone becomes less about features and more about feeling right. So the real question is, is Samsung finally ahead of Android itself? Because with One UI 9, it's not just catching up anymore, it's setting the pace. What do you think? Are you excited about this new level of AI, powered customization, or do you think Google's still holding the upper hand with stock Android? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what feature you're most looking forward to. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to hit that like button, share this video with your Galaxy friends, and of course, subscribe to Smart Reviews so you never miss a future deep dive. Until next time, I'm Alex, this was Smart Reviews. Stay curious, stay tech savvy, and as always, peace out.